I was outside getting some fresh air yesterday and the wind moved my hair. So that's a sign that my hair is getting pretty long. What does that have to do with what I'm doing today? Absolutely nothing. I'm just gonna get right into it. This is my closet. It's okay. It could be neater. Mainly, I just have a whole crap ton of clothes. This isn't even all of my clothes and it's already like overflowing. I literally have a laundry basket right here. I still need to empty. There's like not that many much not that much clothes left in it, but you know. I still need to get it into the closet and that it's just a sign that I either need to organize it and get it more consolidated or get rid of some clothes. So here's the game plan. I'm gonna try on everything just to eliminate things that don't fit because I haven't tried on some of these in a while and most of them probably do fit. It's just a matter of style. So I'm gonna try on everything. I have a plain white shirt and I'm wearing only underwear. Blank canvas, that's why I'm feeling from the waist up. So I'm gonna try on jackets first, then I'm gonna do button up shirts that I can wear over this. Then I think I'm gonna do sweaters that I can put on over this. Basically anything that I can do to avoid taking off my shirt because I'm not ready to expose that to the internet. <laughs> and then I'll probably do t-shirts and still put it over here. I don't know. Or I just won't film that. We'll see. You'll you'll just see a time-lapse version of all this and maybe some commentary from me. And then I'll do pants, which you will not see because I will continue to film this from the waist up. Whatever I end up not keeping, I'm probably still gonna keep in the house. I'm quarantined, so I can't leave the house and go like donate it or sell it. I'm gonna leave the camera rolling while I do that. Hope you enjoy whatever this turns out to be. I'm just using the camera being on as an excuse used to clean out my closet because I feel like the camera is gonna hold me accountable otherwise I'm not gonna end up doing this I'm gonna end up starting it do it for 15 minutes then get distracted by my phone but I think that if I have the camera rolling knowing that I only have a limited amount of storage I'm gonna get this done pretty quick it's already 4 p.m. so there's only a little bit amount of daylight left so I hope I get it done before the sun sets thank you daylight savings time the sun will not set until 7 p.m. so I think I should be good <laughs> where the hell do I begin god I need to text my friend I'm sorry I I apologize to my friend if you're watching. <laughs> you know, I think it was a smart move to wear a white t-shirt while doing this because I've never liked this jacket and the white t-shirt makes it look really good. Maybe I've just always seen it from this angle and I think it doesn't look flattering, but like seeing me like in it now, it, like, I, I kind of like it. <laughs> when I first got this, it was like the softest jacket ever. Still pretty soft. I washed it a couple times, so it's not as soft. If you're ever looking for a soft jacket, Rolo in San Francisco. <laughs> this one has a story. A very long, complicated story. In my PE class, it was 7th or 8th grade. We had our dance unit. We had a unit where we did dance. We had to choreograph a dance, and we all had to wear it like a uniform, like a costume. My group, just for the life of them, could not decide what our costume was going to be. And eventually, they settled on a maroon sweatshirt or hoodie or jacket. Maroon like top. I go to Target and find this and I'm like, oh my gosh, it was a godsend. And then I wear it. And back then it was like a lot bigger on me. So like now it's kind of like conforming, but I liked, I liked the baggy look and I like fell in love with it. And I'm like, all right, I got this room sweatshirt. And then my group's all like, actually royal blue t-shirts. <sighs> Needless to say, I was upset. It was like, black jacket, a royal blue shirt. And I had a black jacket, which I like that jacket. It had like inside pockets. It was super cool. But now I don't know where it is. And then it, and then last minute it turns out, oh, we're not wearing jackets. And here's the thing. I was wearing my royal blue shirt. It was a warrior shirt inside out. You could like see my tag and everything. And oh, it was awful. I do not have fond memories of elementary school. <laughs> Something I'm realizing about a lot of these sweatshirts is I haven't worn them in a while. So I think I want to get rid of them. But the moment I wear them, I'm like, oh my gosh, top-notch sweatshirt. Like, this is so soft, so thin, so, uh. I'm just piling up clothes. I'm not even organizing it. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm making even more of a mess. I should have gotten boxes. I'll fold it all later. It'll consolidate. I'm not one of those Christmas all year round. I'm Christmas after Thanksgiving, but like waiting for Thanksgiving to be over is pushing it. So after Halloween, I'm already ready for Christmas. I just realized I like completely forgot my entire system and did sweatshirts before button ups. So we're gonna do button ups and I'm gonna put on my glasses before I do my sweatshirts <laughs> or the rest of them. I did the hoodies, but I still have sweatshirts, sweatshirts that like are just long sleeve shirts. So this was my costume for my very first show ever. Cheaper by the dozen. I was the doctor, Dr. Burton. My costume is still in here and has been since November, 2019. I do wear these things. Like if, I mean, I'm not going to any formal events anytime soon, but come a formal event, I'm wearing this stuff. This doesn't need to be in my closet right now. And the white shirt, I wore a white shirt with this. That's being used for my I'd say that's being used for my next costume, but quarantine canceled the spring show. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I banged my toe on the stool in my room. I need to get this shit out of here. I just got the rest of this shit out of the basket. That way I can put the formal clothes in the basket. What am I using the basket for exactly? Don't know. Usually, I separate my underwear and socks, but currently, the box that I usually put my underwear in, I am using to store other things that usually go on my desk. And I would say it's to keep it clean, but my desk is currently not clean. So that's a lame excuse. <laughs> but yeah, it's on my bookcase, and my bookcase is some whole other mammoth that I'll get to some other time. And I will, again, use the camera as an excuse to get it done. Okay, where am I putting nose? I literally just throw everything over on my bed. Where's the no pile? <laughs> where's the, where's the, throw it on the other side. I'll get to you later. I should really have boxes, but I don't know where boxes are and I don't want to stop and go look for boxes because I'm still filming. I really should be wearing more of these shirts. Beginning of freshman year, I was all like, I'm going to wear button ups. I'm going to be all put together. Now I wear sweatpants, trench coats, and t-shirts because after school I have rehearsal and I need to do dance and I don't want to have to change. I might change my attitude next year when I don't have to do PE so I don't have to cram my backpack into a tiny locker. So I'll just bulk up my backpack with rehearsal clothes, but who knows? Oh, look, more flannel. We have reached formal attire domain. I wore this to my eighth grade graduation. If it fits, I'm gonna be very sad. I mean, then again, the flannels don't fit and I got those last year. This one has to fit because I have not worn it ever. The tag is still on it. It's a nice shirt. It fits. Yeah, cool. We're keeping it. This is a hanger of just all of my ties, except for the bow tie that was with my suit costume and this tie. I feel like I could let a few of these go. I'm not gonna like try them on. I'm just gonna like figure out which ones are gonna go later. Also, I started watching episodes of the Good place instead of listening to music. I'm just a tad obsessed. Oh yeah, by the way, in case I didn't come off as obsessed to you, this is my fifth time- Fifteenth time watching it or rewatching it. <laughs> on that note, I'm gonna move on to the sweatshirts, and I have some sweatshirts over there from the laundry basket. I'm gonna try on those sweatshirts and figure out if I need to get rid of some. Forgot a shirt. I've done all of my long sleeve shirts. Now I just need to do my t-shirts. Now the thing about t-shirts is some of them I don't wear on a day-to-day -day basis, but I like having t-shirts that I can wear to sleep in or just lounge around in. Not all of them are made for fashion. So that's where I'm like on the fence about a few. Like I could have a place that's not my closet or like backup shirts if I'm ever low on laundry and just need to stay home. But definitely not, not all of them need to stay in my closet. So I just need to figure that out. And some of them don't even fit. And now I'm gonna put on pants. I've never said I, 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 I'm gonna put on pants so triumphantly before, but I'm gonna put on pants. Oh wait, I forgot this shirt. This is a pajama shirt. And I've worn it recently. It fits and it goes with a set. So yeah, I'm keeping this. Yeah, a lot of these pajamas I know fit. So I'm just gonna eat them over there. <laughs> there. <laughs> Well, that was a bad idea. <laughs> so here's how I feel about shorts. They're shorts. <laughs> I only ever wanna wear them when I'm wearing flip-flops, so in the summer, because otherwise it feels like my ankles are being cut off by the short and the socks. And also they're not comfortable. Maybe I'm just getting bad shorts. But if I'm sitting down for a really long time in shorts, I mean, I know these fit because I've worn these recently, so they're going in the, in the, they fit pile, but like, that doesn't mean I'm gonna keep them. Right now, I'm just going by fit. Although, I think I've been a little bit subjective over on, on that side. All right, now that I'm decked, it, decked out in my very inaccurate Totoro costume, he does not have a long tail, he has long ears, I am going to take a break from filming and fold all of this stuff, this pile of clothing that does fit me, and the pile of clothing, I don't know if you can see it, nope, you can't, that is not the right view. Pile of clothing, ah, well, I guess I'm doing handhold right there. <laughs> I'm going to deal with all of the stuff that is not folded and fold it and I'll check back into you. Then I'll choose what to keep based on aesthetic. I will see you soon. <laughs> Save the turtles. So I started folding all my clothes off camera and then I ate dinner. Then my mom wanted to watch Riverdale and then the sun set. So it's the next day. But anyways, I made some progress last night off camera. Basically all I have to do today is figure out what shirts I want to keep and get rid of. And I'm gonna do that on camera with you right there. That's my setup. I have all my pajama sets. 
that I'm keeping and my sweatshirts that I'm keeping and my short. I think I'm keeping all of my shorts just because I don't have that many to begin with. And also all the buttons, the button ups and jackets are on hangers. You can't really see them right now, but you'll you'll see them when I do a full view of the closet. But other than that, I'm just gonna go through all my shirts and like see which ones like matter. I need to count my shirts to see how many I started with. I have 29 shirts. Oh, I had 29 shirts when I began. Four of them I'm already getting rid of. So that means I have 25. So I think at the very least I want to get to 20 shirts. Maybe, um, hopefully less. Maybe get rid of like 10. Other than that, I put some of my pants. This is not all the pants I'm keeping. I have some of them down there, but I couldn't fit all of them down there. So I'm also gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with my pants and where I'm gonna put them. But for now, I'll put them down here with the rest of them. I've more or less ordered them all in like order of importance, but then eventually I got like lazy. I just realized that my lights are on. Hmm. I'm gonna turn off that light. I don't need my light on. There we go. That, that's good lighting. I'm gonna go through my shirts, maybe tell you some stories. This top one, totally keeping it from Improv. It has the name Chad on the back because that's my nickname. To this day, I still do not know why. I just walked in and they're like, hey you, Chad. Now my name's Chad in Improv, so. I'm just gonna put it on the floor for now. Okay. This shirt I'm torn about because, as you might know, Ellen DeGeneres has been under fire recently and I'm not sure how I feel about it, but the message is nice. Also, my mom got it for me online. I might keep it, but I just had to get my words out there because I'm <laughs> not a fan of Ellen right now. And here's the hard, here's the hard thing. Ellen was my childhood growing up. I would like stand in front of the TV and like obsess over watching Ellen and now I just, I don't know how I feel about her. Basically anything that I've worn recently, I probably want to keep. Steven Universe, big Steven Universe fan, totally keeping this. I also got it from a friend this past Christmas. So like, I, I don't wanna like that, that'd just be mean to like get rid of it so soon. But also I don't wanna get rid of it. Even if like a friend didn't get it for me, I would still keep it. This one I got recently, but also it's bittersweet because a uh, family friend got it for me because I'm, I was playing Pinocchio in Shrek the Musical and now it's canceled or at least postponed to a later date. We don't know what's going to happen. Now we're entering the plain Jane t-shirt territory. This shirt I'm keeping because it serves a purpose. It's my paint shirt. This shirt I'm keeping because Irish. This one I can't really donate to anyone else, but also I asked for it from my grandmother and she was like, you're not a Conroy, you're a Sherman. Like why Why would you have the, the Conroy clan shirt? And I'm like, okay, well, I still want it. Like I'm still part of the family and I never wear it because it doesn't make sense. And now I understand. I was young and stupid, <laughs> but it's like a family heirloom. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. I have narrowed it down to 17 shirts. I don't know if I should get rid of more. I have tank tops. So I feel like I should. I'll start putting the definites on the table. I'm gonna put the be kind of one another in the, in the get rid of pile because I'm on the fence about it. Because like, I, I don't really wear it and especially now that Ellen's under fire, I'm not so sure about it. I don't wanna go about this. I'm seeing how it looks if I organize it by color. There's no yellow to balance it out. By the way, yes, I did sleep in this and I'm still wearing the same shirt as I am yet, was yesterday. But hey, I'm wearing shorts. I have better organized the stuff in my the in the boxes this is the box of shirts i'm not keeping anymore the box of all boxes oh oh my childhood is being unleashed so i'm thinking of keeping my stuffed animals in my closet oh, i'm sorry go. i just grabbed it by the face bunnies were my thing as a child and i don't remember when i got this one i think it was probably a hand-me-down from my mom drama club if you're watching asshole I'm a sucker for tiny cute things. I'm gonna change the camp angle. Now we're focused on the closet. A cat. This has escaped me. Childhood. I have emptied this box and still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what is my plan? Did I just make an even bigger mess? <laughs> ah! Here we are. You are on my floor. So I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna put these off camera. And we'll see if I have to do this for another day since every time I go off camera, I stop being productive. I was productive last night but it was at night, so I didn't want to turn on the camera anymore. I'll check in with you again today, I promise. <laughs> so my closet's done. It's probably not going to stay like this, mostly because I'm a slob. <laughs> we have tank tops, shorts, I'm ready for summer. With sweatshirts and long sleeve shirts, button ups, both flannel sweaters, um, short sleeve, formal, 
And we have other jackets and sweatshirts. T-shirts along this side. So t-shirts on these two, and then I have my pants on these two. And then I have my pajamas. That's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit weird. I know it, I hope I am able to edit this to make it somewhat entertaining. You're kind of just watching me clear out my closet. That's why I did a lot off camera. Unless I had humorous commentary to make, I didn't want to include it or bore you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and leave a comment about what you thought and subscribe if you want to see more. The next task I want I want to tackle, whether it be on camera or not, is my bookshelf. I genuinely enjoy making videos, particularly the editing part. The hardest part for me is finding a concept and filming it, but once I have all that footage and I'm just sitting down to edit, I'm on a roll and I really enjoy myself. If you like the video and you know someone who might enjoy it, share it with them. That's all I got for you today. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for my next video. I'm trying to do like two videos a week, but th these next coming weeks, I'm gonna be working on a PSA project, which I'm not sure if I'll post up here, but like if my teacher allows me, I might post it here, especially if it turns out good. Enjoy yourself. Bye.